I do a level nine course, a master's degree and come with my spouse, then will I be eligible to get a work permit of three years after completion of the master's? The rules are simple, guys, going forward after the new policy comes into place. If you want to get your spouse on a work visa to New Zealand, going forward, you need to ideally do a level nine master's or a level 10 PhD. No problems with that. If you are going for a level eight or a level seven course, that particular course has to be an exact match to a, a course or a qualification defined in the long-term skill shortage list of New Zealand. So that is what uh, we are uh, looking at. So because Kushbu says she has planned to come for a, a level nine a master's degree, there will not, not be a problem for her uh, spouse to be able to apply for a work visa uh, as, as a dependent, provided they, of course, they meet all the criteria of uh, being in a genuine relationship and living together. Uh, but uh, for others uh, who do not uh, fall into that level nine or 10, or do not uh, uh, or do not match an exact level eight or a level seven on the long-term skill shortage list, then what you guys can do is possibly look at coming in. So, so I mean, here's an example. If somebody is coming into New Zealand for a graduate diploma level seven, uh, or let's say a postgraduate diploma level eight, uh, and wants to come with the spouse. If that level, level eight uh, postgraduate diploma is not an exact match to a qualification in the um, long-term skill shortage list, the spouse can still accompany, but on a visitor visa. So the spouse can come, but the spouse will not get a work visa because that level eight course is not an exact match to the uh, uh, to a qualification on the long-term skills shortage list. So what this uh, student can do is, if, she, if he or she is keen to get the spouse, let the spouse come in on a visitor visa. For one year, the spouse cannot work uh, on a visitor visa. But after completion of the one year, when the student gets a three-year post-study work visa, by virtue of having completed a level eight program, then the spouse will become eligible for a work visa. Interestingly, if the spouse is really good, and comes on a visitor visa, while in New Zealand, goes around looking for a job and somebody says, yeah, look, cool, look, you have great uh, talent and we're willing to give you a job offer. The spouse can take the job offer and independently apply either for an essential skills work visa or for a resident visa, it has happened in the past. So, you know, uh, if it's a lot of our clients, sometimes spouses come and within five, six months, they find great jobs which are above the threshold of $50,523, and then they go ahead and apply for the rest of the visa. So overall, it's still looking very positive, guys, so nothing to worry about.